What's going on you guys? Dark Saint here again with another video talking to you guys about the division. In this video we're going to be going over the weekly vendor reset for July 22nd through July 29th. So let's see what these vendors have in store for us this week. Starting out we'll take a look at the special equipment vendor upstairs and we'll take a look at the historian with 150% headshot damage. Not the highest that it's been and again not really a big fan of the historian. We also have the enhanced PP19. Fairly good stats on this. Nothing super out of the ordinary or anything that makes you where you have to buy it, but it is fairly nice. We also have the 686 Magnum. Again, fairly decent rolls, but for a pistol, it's not really what you're looking for. And of course, a lightweight M4. The stats for an assault rifle are okay. However, the M4 is just not a good assault rifle as it is. Followed by that, we also have all the armor pieces of the week. Again, nothing here that was really worth looking at, so we're probably just going to go ahead and skip ahead. I'll show you what they had, but it wasn't anything really worth looking at as far as the armor goes. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump and look at the next vendor downstairs. Now we're looking at the special equipment vendor downstairs. Again, another historian with a lower headshot damage than the one upstairs. So if you were going to choose one or the other, you'd pick the one upstairs. However, again, these are kind of low stat rolls. The highest being around 170% would be what you were looking for if you're looking to collect it and you're looking for the highest roll on it. That's what you'd be looking for. You also have the classic M1A. Nothing special here. Then you also have the tactical sausage A or 12K, I'm sorry. This has accurate, sustained, and self-preserved. Fairly decent for keeping you alive, but it's not the best shotgun in the world, in my opinion. I'm personally a big fan of the Super 90. And another enhanced PP-19 with a 182 stat roll or gear score. It's just not that great of a weapon. Again, as far as the armor pieces go, nothing in the armor looked worth buying. So let's go see what the vendor in the corner has for us today. Of course you still have all your standard blueprints. These don't seem to change. They seem to be stationary. But if you are looking for some 214 gear score, you're trying to level up, some of these might be worth picking up. The number ones to pick up are going to be your Strikers, your Sentry's Call, Tactician's Authority, possibly Predator's Mark if you can get your hands on it. As for the Weapons of the Week, you have the Custom PF45 Blueprint, the Electronics Vest Blueprint, and the Small Grip Blueprint, as well as the Performance Gear Mod Blueprint. Of these here, I would recommend the small grip as well as the electronic vest blueprint. The custom PF45 is not a bad one either if you have the extra points to pick that up. That's not a bad buy at, for what you're getting out of it. Next, we'll take a look at the Dark Zone vendor in DZ02. This is the one that sells the armor pieces. However, they haven't really updated it with any new armor pieces. Everything here is just around the 204 level. So there's nothing really, really special here as far as in-game wise. If you are an in-game player, you're not going to really find anything here. The only thing that they had was a Spec Ops gloves of a 229. However, the perk on it was just a, a, astute, I'm sorry, and it's really not that great of a buy. I wouldn't even really consider buying it. You also have the electronics holster, the electronics knee pads, the firearms mask, and the firearms knee pads. Of these blueprints, nothing really worth buying that really sets out for in-game activity. The best ones being the chest armor and the gloves, and obviously they're not here this week. And these are only 204, so for in-game players that are really looking to level up, not going to really find anything here. And mid-level players, you probably don't want to pick up anything this week from that vendor either. Next, we'll take a look at the vendor in DZ03. This is your weapon vendor. You have the converted SMG. Nothing special on this. So it's a 182 gear score. Next, you have the police M4 with a 163 gear score. Again, nothing special. M4 is not really that great of an assault rifle. You have a Vector 45 ACP for you low levels that are wanting to check it out. Not really that great of a weapon, but it's whatever. Uh, the military RPK 74M did have some pretty good rolls for an LMG. However, it is a 204 gear score. If you guys are at rank 80 and you don't really have a good LMG, I do encourage you checking that one out because of the LMGs, that's probably one of the best ones in the game. Of course, you also have the classical RPK at 229. Again, it is a strong LMG, but that one did not have good perks. 
followed by the Valkyr, the Tactical M1911 pistol, and the First Wave M1A, both of those being only 204, however. So if you're at that level and you are going to accept 204 weapons, the First Wave M1A would be my recommendation if you don't have a stronger 229 at this point. Next, we'll take a look at the safe house in DZ04. This is the safe house that sells the gear mod attachments for those gear mod slots on your armor pieces. Starting out, you have the prototype performance mod, nothing special here. You also have an advanced stamina mod. If you're low level and you are trying to get your hands on some stamina mods, this one's not that bad of one, but you will find more as you level up. The firearms gear mod slot is for those of you guys that are running to run lead assault with your primary weapons. Definitely worth picking up if you do not already have it. And the electronics gear mod slot for those of you guys that are going for the skill build. Both of them are fairly decent and both of them are the best of the kind that you can find currently in the game. Next, we look at DZ05, safe house. This is the one that sells the weapon attachments. You have a quick release magazine, not really anything special up there, so I would skip over that. You have the extended magazine blueprint at item level 32, so be sure to pick that up if you haven't already, as well as the RDS scope for the SMGs, your small SMGs. So both of those are worth picking up if you're trying to level up an SMG or just trying to get a better extended mag. Be sure to pick that up. And last but not least, we'll take a look at the Dark Zone in DZ06 safe house. This vendor never changes. I just do a quick run through, show you guys what he has. This vendor does not change from week to week, but this gives you an idea of what it has for those of you guys that have not been to the church in DZ06. Either way, you guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for this week's weekly reset vendor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below if you have any questions. I'll be sure to answer them. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys next time on the next Weekly Reset.